In this video, we are going to solve a past paper question related to trigonometry. So this question right here is from May June 2018, paper two, variant two. Okay, so let's get straight to it. A yard sails in a tri uh, the triangular route shown. The bearing of B from A is 135 degrees. BC is equal to 3.7 kilometer. AC is equal to 2.8. And angle ABC is equal to 42 degrees. All right, great. Then it says show that CAB is equal to 62.2 degrees. Correct to one decimal place. All right, so CAB basically means that we need to work out this angle. Okay. So what do we have? We have two sides and a non-included angle, which means that we'll have to use sine rule. So here's how we'll start. So we'll say sine A divided by the length opposite of it, which is 3.7 is equal to sine 42 over the length opposite of it, which is 2.8. All right, so let's work this out in our calculator. So first I'm gonna evaluate this part, which is sine 42. Bracket close divided by 2.8. There you go. And then I'm going to multiply this by 3.7. So now I know that sine A is equal to a certain value, which is 0.884 something. Okay. Now I'm going to, in order to find out A, I'm going to take the sine inverse of the answer. And I'm going to use the answer key and make sure that you also use the answer key. So I'm going to take out sine inverse of the answer. So I get 62.15, which is equal to 62.2, correct to one decimal place. Hence shown, guaranteed three marks in the bag. Okay, then it says find the bearing of A from C. And this is a two mark question. Okay, so A from C. All right, so in order to work out the bearing of A from C, well, there are two ways to go about it. We can use the concept of reverse bearing. Okay, in fact, that's what I would do. That's, uh, that makes things a lot easier. So what I can do is, instead of working out the bearing of A from C, let's say I work out the bearing of C from a because that's a lot easier considering that we now have this angle which is 62.2 so all i need to do is that means i'm going to start from the north of a and i'm going to keep on going till i reach the point that's connecting a and c so that means 135 till here and then another 62.2 so 135 let me just write it here 135 plus 62.2 degrees so 135 plus 62.2 gives me 197.2 so that means the bearing of c from A is basically equal to 197.2 degrees. Now, if I switch this, if I turn this into A from C, that means what I need to do is I need to subtract, well, you either add 180 or you subtract 180. Now, since this value is already greater than 180, that means I can't add 180 to it. So instead I'll subtract 180. And the second I do that, what do I get? I get 17.15 or in other words, 17.2. But since this is bearing, I'm gonna write this as 017.2 degrees, All right? So there you go, that's our final answer. Now, the other way, the the usual way, I mean, if you were to find out the bearing of A from C, the way it is, so this is what you would have done. So you would have drawn a north at C. So there it is, there's a nice little, well, not exactly little, but yeah, there's a north at C. And what happens if you extend the north that we already have at A? So in that case, you get a pair of parallel lines. And so we know that this entire angle is equal to what? 197.2? Yep. And from 197.2, you would subtract 180 to get this angle. And why are we interested in this angle? Because that's what this is going to be equal to because of alternating angles. And when you do that, well, what do you get? You get the same answer, 17.15, which is equal to 17.2. So there you have it. This, this is something that we could have done also. Either way, we get the same answer, so nothing to worry about. All right, so that's that. And then we move to part C, which says the, the yard sails from A to B to C to A. So basically A to B and then B to C and then C to A. All right, calculate the total length of the route. All right, so that's just a fancy way of asking the perimeter. A to B, so that means from here to here, and then from here to here, and then from here to here. Okay, so, well, what do we have? We know what length BC is, and we don't know what length CA is. So that means we just got to work out what length AC is equal to. Okay, so we can do that. And let me just get rid of all the mess that we have made. And let me just raise this line also. Not to forget that this angle was, or is, in fact, 62.2. Now, the first thing that I should do is work out the third and the missing angle. 
So 180 minus 62.2 minus 42 gives me gives me gives me 75.8. All right. So here's what I need to do. The first thing is that I need to calculate AB. So I'm going to do AB divided by sine of 75.8. And with this, I need to use another length and an angle. So I'm going to go with 2.8 and 42 since they were provided to us in the question. I mean, these are the original set of values. So 2.8 divided by sine 42. Okay, so just a matter of cross multiplying now. 2.8 divided by sine 42, right close into sine 75, 75.8. And there you have it. We know that AB is equals to 4.056677. So we'll just, let's just stop here, okay. Kilometer, is it? Yeah, it is kilometer. 4.05. Okay, so I'm not gonna round this off right now, okay. So here's what I'll do. I have this value in my calculator. Now I know it's going from A to B, so that means if it's going from A to B, so 4.0566, and then from B to C, I guess that's 3.7. Yep, there you go. So here's 3.7. So I'm just gonna add 3.7 to the value that I already have in my calculator. And then from C to A, which is 2.8. So plus 2.8. So there you go. Let me just sum this up. And we get 10.55, which if rounded off, correct to three significant figures, turns out to be, so I'm gonna write 10.55 first. Okay, and then if I round this off, correct to three significant figures, I get 10.6 kilometers. And there you go, that's our final answer. And with that, we have completed the question. So that's all for this video, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.